Huku hayo ya kijiri muungano wa azimio la umoja wa Kenya umedhibitisha mkutano huo kufanyika na kuanzishwa upya mazungumzo ya maridhiano ili kusitisha maandamano nchini. Wakizungumza hapa Nairobi wanawakashifu wa, 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 barua wa na kiongozi wa wengi katika bunge la taifa Kimani Shungwa iliyokosa kujumuisha swala la gharama ya maisha kwenye orodha ya baadhi ya masuala ya mazungumzo wakisema swala la gharama ya juu ya maisha ni kipaumbele kwenye ajenda yao. Mwanabari wetu wa masuala ya siasa Emmanuel To na mengi zaidi. Baada ya hali ya tiati kuhusu mazungumzo ya pamoja kati ya muungano wa Kenya kwanza na azimio la umoja wa Kenya hatimaye viongozi wa azimio wamethibitisha kufanyika kwa mkutano kati ya Rais William Ruto na kinara wa azimio Raila Odinga usiku wa Ijumaa iliyopita mkutano uliofanikishwa na aliyekuwa Rais wa Nigeria Olusegun Obasanjo Indeed there was a meeting uh, chaired by His Excellency Honorable Obasanjo and uh, Baba accepted to appear in that meeting because of his respect for His Excellency Honorable Obasanjo. And as we have pointed out very clearly in our statement, that meeting did not conclude on any issues. It was a meeting to agree on when to hold the talks and how to hold the talks. Doru zinasema Odinga na Ruto walikutana pamoja mjini Mombasa katika mkutano uliodumu saa chache kabla mkutano huwa faraga na siri Odinga anasemekana kuwa na mkutano na rais wa zamani wa Nigeria Olusegunu Basanjo baada ya maombi ya pamoja Juma asubuhi licha taarifa hiyo azimio imeibuka na madai kwamba Kenya kwanza inataka kupinga uwepo wa Basanjo nchini kama ilivyosalia kimya kuhusu uwepo wake nchini rais Samia Suluhu wa Tanzania wiki tatu zilizopita kwa mkutano mwingine wa Patano. They denied the presence of President Sulhu here a few weeks ago and now they want to deny the presence of His Excellency Obasanjo. Haya Nigeria zimiwe kikashifu barua iliyoandikwa na kiongozi wa wengi katika bunge la taifa Kimani Shungwa iliyokosa kujumuisha swala la gharama ya juu ya maisha kwenye meza ya mazungumzo. We disown the statement by honorable Gichungwa, as Mio had nothing to do with it. Its contents were those of Kenya Kwanza. They are wish list. We are not in the business of handshakes. We are not in the business of engaging on how to share power and positions. We shall engage on issues that are people centric. As Mio Merodesha Garama Yajuya Maisha mageuzi ya IBC kufutiliwa mbali kwa sheria ya fedha ya mwaka 2023 na mengine mengi kama masuala makuu ya mazungumzo Our priority for discussion is the escalating cost of living which has only got worse with the lifting of the conservatory honda on the 2023 finance act last week Kenya kwanza ilikuwa imetoa masuala matano ikiwemo kubuniwa kwa afisi rasmi ya kiongozi wa upinzani masuala makuu ya kizungumziwa. Kenya kwanza na azimio inatarajiwa kutoa vikosi vyao vya watu watano kila upande kuendesha mazungumzo mapya. Duru zinasema kinara wa na Kenya Martha Karua atakuwa anaongoza kikosi cha azimio pamoja na kiongozi wa chache katika bunge la taifa Opio Wandai. Thank you very much. Emmanuel To, KT News, Nairobi. Na viongozi wa kidini nchini wakiongozwa na askofu mkuu wa kanisa la Anglikana Jackson Ole Sapit pamoja na kiongozi wa makanisa kibaptisti nchini Kasisi Bernard Obuya wameunga mkono majadiliano ya amani baina ya kinara wa Azimio la Odinga na Rais William Ruto kusuluhisha maandamano ambayo yamekuwa kishuhudiwa humu nchini. Viongozi hao wamesitiza umuhimu wa hoja ya gharama ya maisha iwepo miongoni